Okay everybody, uh, today I want to talk about this board here. This is the Sega Model 2 Virtual Fighter 2 Arcade Board. Um, I wanted to put up this video because I searched all over the internet and I barely found any information on this board, how to set it up, hook it up, so forth. Um, so uh, so yeah, here it is and uh, I'll talk a little, about, a little bit about this board here. So. As you can see, this is a pretty massive board as well, uh, along with my Promo Rage board. Um, it's probably actually about the same size. weighs a little bit more, though, because it's stacked. Um, here's an example. This is a 36-inch CRT monitor, or CRT TV, on my desk. And that's how big it is compared to this. So, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty good-sized board. Um, made up of a couple uh, different parts. What you have here, this part here is the main board. There's two of them. There's one underneath, you can't really see. They're all screwed into this um, chassis um, to ground it out. So you have two of these boards stacked on top of each other. That's your main motherboard, the actual Model 2 chipset. Okay. Then you have this board here, which is about four or five inches, six inches wide goes the length that's your ROM board that actually contains the ROMs for whatever game you want to play Virtual Fighter 2, uh, Daytona USA, Virtual Cop 1, Virtual Cop 2 so basically they would swap these boards out keep these boards the same to my knowledge as far again the research that I did I, I believe that that is correct <clears throat> so they're all set up inside this case um, they're bolted in, screwed in, and from what, again, what I've read, they have to be in this case. It will not run outside of this case because this, this metal case grounds, I guess, it has different points where they need to be grounded um, all over. So, um, yeah, it needs to be in this case, or otherwise I won't fire on. Uh, again, that's what, I would, that's what I read, so could be wrong. Um, if you look here, this is the front, inside front. You have these connectors here, here, and here. They connect to the front. Let me move this light so we can see a little bit better. To this board here. This is called the filter board. Uh, and this has all of your connections here. Um, by the way, I just got this board in today, by the way. Um, so. So these are all your connections. Uh, this is a this is not a JAMA board. Uh, it's a proprietary connection. And what you would get is off of the Virtual Fighter 2 arcade machine, it had its own wiring harness, and they would plug in to all these spots. Um, right here is your plus five in, another plus five in. This larger connection here uh, is all your buttons, A, B, C, D if used, uh, up, down, left, right, service, etc. This one here is your RGB ground sync right here this one here is your audio um, so those are all the connections in this Virtual Fighter 2 board this isn't used and this one isn't used um, and this 8-bit output here whatever that is is not used everything else is with with this Virtual Fighter 2 again you can you're supposed to be able to swap ROM so these will be used in other games <coughs> um, so yeah, again, it's not JAMA, um, it's not a JAMA compliant board, but before I bought this, I read it was very easy to make a JAMA harness by finding these and, you know, making your own, get buying a, a fingerboard and making your own. But when I opened this up, because there's a cage, it's right, right here, this is the top metal cage I had to screw off. When I opened this up inside a baggie, inside this, this cage, was this guy here and this is a model 2 uh, to JAMA adapter wiring harness and that was sitting right inside so I was holy shit I lucked out and uh, yeah so what a find um, the only thing I had to do to this was um, I had to make, you know, I did this to the Primal Rage board, um, these adapters, because this is your, your audio line coming off of the harness, and there was no ends on it. Somebody cut them off. Now, the board also came with 
this amplifier and what you would do is these four pins right there come straight off the four pin uh, audio channel that is on this motherboard it would plug into the four pins on here and this is your amplifier there's your volume on off volume and then here you have your left and right RCA to go into speakers because um, on the Virtual Fighter 2 arcade cab the speakers had the RCA male ends on them they weren't wired directly with a you know into here um, so it went into here through this but because I already have an amplifier on my arcade machine <coughs> and these ends here or bear, I cut and soldered on the left and right, and now they go into my arcade machine, which has the left and right RCA uh, male ends in it, connected to my receiver right there. So, very very easy to convert this to uh, to JAMA. Again, if you had to, again, I lucked out. And another thing is I stole this off of eBay. Stole it. Nobody bid on it. I was the only bidder. There was six or seven days. I got it for $40 after shipping. $40 after shipping. I've seen these things go for $250, $350, $400. $40. There was no reserve. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. And on top of that, the description said this board was never installed in a machine. Uh, I find that a little hard to believe, but I will say it is in mint condition. No marks, no rust, no nothing on this thing. In mint condition. Maybe it wasn't, but I highly doubt that. But, uh, yeah, so that's how the Model 2s work. Um, and there are different variations of the Model 2. I believe there's two or three. This one here... Uh, let's see if we can read that. This is the Model 2. Well, it's not focusing in, but uh, the Model 2 A CRX CPU board. Um, I know there's two or three different variations that may be a little bit more powerful. I'm not sure, but this was the first model of the uh, Model 2. This is the first first run of chipsets for this. So. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and throw this in the JAMA cabinet and uh, show you guys uh, what it looks like. Alright, so there it is installed into the cabinet. Got all the lines coming off onto into the JAMA connector. Yeah, a little hard to see. I don't have any lights, but it's in, the, it's in my hand. But anyways, so to my cab, let's uh, go ahead and fire it on. Looks absolutely gorgeous. Oh, another thing is you have to have a medium res monitor. Uh, it only takes uh, the 24K, 24 hertz, I believe, instead of 15. Yeah, I think 24. Yeah, 24 and 32 is the highest. Yeah, so 24K. So you have to have a 24K monitor, medium res monitor, to run this. Otherwise, I won't post. Um, I have a TriSync, brand new TriSync. Uh, monitor, but man, this thing looks gorgeous, and it runs perfect in a jamma cab if it's hooked up right. I'll try to play a little bit with one hand. Virtual Fighter 2 inside a JAMA cabinet. 
Thanks for watching.